How could this build fly under the radar for so long? I've been wondering, really? In case you don't know what I'm talking about, it's this build of course, the Flying Wizard, based on the thematically fitting Firebird set. Now you might be wondering, wait, didn't you just say that wizards are going to be terrible this season? You even made a video talking about the 1000 things that need fixing. Well, yes, but let me tell you, this Firebird's nerf was merely a setback. Now they're back with vengeance. <laughs> I mean, Archon on Firebird. In the current EU Challenge Rift, in fact, you can play it right now. It's an interesting coincidence because I've been preparing to unleash my meta-shaking flying wizard upon the world at a later time. But now that others have tapped into its potential and let the cat out of the bag, I decided to just go ahead and publish it now. And let me tell you, this build is incredibly strong, if built right. Here's the planner. First of all, it sports a respectable 41 billion toughness. We build around the Firebird set, which gives massive damage reduction, fire damage procs, and most importantly, flight. But here's the twist. We use Wave of Force as our ability of choice to deal all our damage and achieve this state. And to boost it to the max, we also add all the Wave of Force supporting items in the game. Done. Now you're ready to push the highest greater of tiers in the game, if you dare. In fact, as a flying wizard, you can push the entire world or sanctuary away from you, five times a second even, and achieve a state of permanent flight where nothing can touch you. Little disclaimer. Without the use of Flamehancer and at least 56 surrounding enemies giving you 3% attack speed, while also adding 50% attack speed from Goro Swiftness and 6% from their focused mind ability of the Enchantress, achieving 5 attacks per second and thus permanent flight is impossible. The full effects only unfold when in this phase, so every possible attack should be taken to achieve it. This also means to see this result consistently, you will have to fish a lot for densely tight predators where can be surrounded by many enemies at a time, and finishing off single reefs and the in a flying state is virtually impossible. I also don't recommend to use any VDPHM as it will have to be quite dangerous to play for my design. In any case, your mileage may vary, so try to build at your own risk. We don't take any responsibility for failed attempts at achieving permanent flight or crash landings. As always, I'll leave the plan up for you guys in the description, so go check it out if you want to become a flying wizard yourself. Hope you enjoyed this little video, and see you guys next time.